What's up guys, welcome to watch this video. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about machine identification code. Okay, first of all, what is machine identification code? It is also known as yellow dots or tracking dots. It's a digital watermark which certain color laser printers or copiers leave on every single print page. So why haven't we seen this code? Because they are so tiny that human eyes cannot see them directly. These codes store information like timestamp of when the document is printed and the serial number of the printer. Thus, it can be used to track the originator of the printer. The following picture shows an example of these yellow dots. In the mid 1980s, Zero developed an encode mechanism for a unique number represented by a tiny dot spread over the entire print area. That was when the machine identification code was created. In October 2004, consumer first heard of the hidden feature when it was used by the Dutch authorities to check down counterfeits who have used a Canon color laser printer. In 2005, the Civil Right Group Electronic Frontier Foundation starts to decode the mechanism of machine identification code. In 2018, some scientists claim that they have found four different encode schemes from 18 different manufacturers. By the way, by now, there has no any official document released by the manufacturer or the government organization to explain how this code works and its structure. As I have mentioned before, these yellow dots cannot be seen by human eyes directly, but there is still some way that we can see it. For example, scanning in a printout at a high resolution, 600 dpi or more, or in another way, you can illuminate the page with blue light or UV light, just like the picture I showed below. Thus, you can see these yellow dots directly from, from neck light. Although you may still need to magnify glass to see them. Commonly, there are three types of setting patterns for these yellow dots. The isolating pattern are most common one. And the grid pattern repeats itself with grid, and diagonal pattern repeats itself with diagonal. The most widely used number system for yellow dots are binary coding, but there are still other number systems such as quart quaternary or hexadecimal is used in machine identification code. Okay. Now I present to you a decode process of binary decoding of these yellow dots. Each row represents a value to the power of 2. For instance, the second row in this picture represents 64, which is 2 of the 6 power. The next row is 32, which is 2 to the fifth power, and so on. But how can we use these binary values? Simple enough, just calculating the sum of this binary value in each column. For instance, the sum of second column is 4 plus 16 equals 20. Thus, we have 20 in second column, 6 in the fifth column, 9 in the sixth, sixth column, 5 in the seventh column, and 17 in the eighth column, and so on. And we know that the serial number of this machine, of this printer, is 54295352 1A, happen to be the same value calculated from column 11 to 15 in reverse. And the time the document was released is 620, happen to be the same value in fifth column and the second column. The day of the document was printed was 2017, May 9th. 
and it can be found on from clump six to clump eight. So that is how these yellow dots restore the time step and series num serial number of the printer. Another information stored in this yellow dot is that we can figure out whether the document is printed or copied. The main difference is in clump 10. As we can see from the picture, if clump 10 is filled, the document is printed. If the clump 10 is empty, if set the party bits, the document is copied. Now we take a look at machine identification code use quaternary system. This kind of yellow dots is easy to recognize since there is a reverse L on the top left corner. Row 1, 6, and 11 are party rows which stores nothing. From the picture I show on the right, after division, we can see there are in total 32 small octants. Every four octants combined together record a quaternary numbers. The next step, I will show you how these quaternary numbers are calculated. I take the first four top left octant as example. Each row has two clumps and row number ranges from 0 to 3. If there is a dot in the clump, then give the value according to the clump number. For instance, the, second, the first octant has a dot in the third row with second clump, then it represents the value 0, 3. The same way, we can read out the number from left to right. They are 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, double 0, 2, 0. 0, 3 at 0, 1 equals 1, 0 in quant quaternary system. And, and double 0 at, at 2, 0 equals 2, 0. Combine the two quaternary numbers, then we have the number 1, 0, 2, 0. The same way we read out the quaternary numbers stored in the rest 7 pattern. After checking the system information of the printer, we can conclude that the top two pattern record record the manufacturers, and the second two panel records the model type. These two tables shows the system information to the corresponding printer. However, so far I'm unable to decode the serial number and the time step using quaternary number system because we don't know how this sequence, we don't know the sequence to read the rest of the octant. But at least, if this yellow dots want to store the time step, it will read at least the 11 octant to stop those values after calculating. All right. Thanks for watching guys. If you if you have any question, please leave, please leave a message. Thank you.